Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. Now this will be a quick one and what I'm going to show you this time around is how to build these nice particles I've used on this file. And this is a particle system with some cycles, with some nice cycles materials on it and I'm going to show you how to easily build those particles used in this scene. Now moving on in Blender, and we have the default cube and we are going to use this one. So I'm moving over to the modifiers, click add modifier and I'm going to add bevel modifier. Now the bevel modifier here will be what will set the shape of the object, the shape of the particle. As you can see by changing the width of the bevel modifier here, we can drastically change the shape of the object. Now what we'll do is set the bevel here, let's set it to 0 0.8 for this one. And now I'll add a wireframe modifier and we will not replace the original, I'm going to uncheck this one. So we're keeping both the original object and the wireframe on it. And what I'll then do is add another bevel modifier. All right. And now the bevel modifier works on the wireframe. Let's take a close look so you can see it. Okay. And now change the width of the second bevel modifier to create some nice bevel on the wireframe object. And what you can then do is increase the segments. Let's set it up to three, okay. And what you can also do is set the entire object to use smooth shading. All right, and then you can click add modifier and add an edge split modifier so that it smoothens the object using the edge angle. So this is one particle. I'll hit Shift T to duplicate and X to move the, on the X axis. And what I'll do now for this one is just change the width of the first bevel modifier. Okay. Let's set it to 0 0.35. And we quickly have our second particle, Shift D on the X, create another copy, change the first bevel again, and we're having a third particle, Shift D and X, move to the side. And now I'll hit the Tab key and S and Z to scale on the Z axis, and Tab to go back to object mode and then change the width again and create a brand new particle for my scene here. As you can see, this is the way of easily putting together the particles for this scene right here. So this is it, this is a quick one. I hope you like it and it's pretty easy to put this in together, we have a glass material on the original object and a simple metal material, glossy material for the wire, for the wireframe. You can set it right here to use an offset for the wireframe material. So this is it, this is Dimitris Christou and thanks for watching.